Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. Tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our channels. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing one of the coolest new watches of the 2022 model year. This is the Hermes Arceau Le Temps Voyageur. It is a watch that uses a traveling time complication module on a Vauche base in a case that includes both matte DLC titanium and platinum. This watch uses a chronoed movement with a world time display or a travel time display, unlike anything else I've seen. But let's start with the measurements first. 41 millimeters in diameter, 12.8 millimeters thick, 43.2 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. It uses a 21 millimeter width strap on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters circumference. It wears easily. You can see the unconventional Arceau lug profile, pioneered as far back as the first Arceau in 1979. It really does shrink the watch on the wrist. So even though this is a 41, it, it actually has more of the stance and platform of like a 39. So consider that to be the size. This watch will wear well on wrists as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. Now the strap, is sort of an anthracite. It's somewhere between gray and black. It uses a monotone stitch, large symmetrical scale, rectangular scale alligator leather, an expensive high-end cut. You can see the profile features sheer cut to show the layers of leather, and the layers of leather are Hermes and buttery soft. One of the advantages of owning a Hermes watch is getting the Hermes strap. And you can see the little pull tab spring bars have been employed so you can pop the strap off the case without a tool. We also have a matching or so style buckle in DLC matte black titanium. The DLC is nice because it's exceptionally scratch resistant, but it's usually rendered in some combination of satin brushed or polished. Here we have a, a matte media blast that's fairly unique for DLC application. You can also see the metal hardware is platinum and high polished, and that the watch swells considerably from the case back up to the bezel. We have a Hermes branded crown, and then a dial that defies categorization. So you can see we have a central dial that features a lacquered fade, and then a combination of engraving, galvanization, and lacquering below it. Now we have a time scale up at the top, we have a time scale on the dial, and then we have the city reference ring that orbits around the dial with each locality representing one of the 24 principal time zones of the world. And in that country's local language, we have a little notation regarding whether or not summer and winter times are used. That's why you see V, S, E, all of it means the same thing, that they use both standard and summer-winter distinction time. So that's, that's what that means. That's why, for example, in a small space, we have an S, a V, and an E all at once. It means the exact same thing. But the 24 FBG represents the Hermes flagship store. That is the abbreviation for the Faubourg de Saint-Honoré, where you will find the Hermes flagship store in Paris, which is why it replaces the Paris time zone. Now, you can see the watch does have a little bit of loom, so we will do a loom shot. That's it. They don't give you much. Let's get the action underway. You use the index on the side to move the central dial adjacent to each one. See how it does a little red index? Adjacent to each one of these localities. And it will track the time in those locations. This is sort of a hybrid of a world time and a dual time. And it, it can, it's, it's a one and only. I can't think of anything else that works this way. Now you have in a lovely serifi silver painted font at the top, a second time zone. And you can see that it is possible to set them independently. So that's how that works. And the secondary time zone, which is your home time, by the way, is in a 24-hour format. Remember, this is travel time. This is, 
this is local time, I should say. This is home time. So this is the time where you are not. This is the time where you are. You always keep the time where you are adjacent to your current city. By the way, I like the use of Samarkand and Almaty. It's a little bit unusual on a world time. You might be wondering, what on earth is this map in the background? Well, you remember Game of Thrones where they had sort of an archaic looking medieval inspired map of a fake place? Well, that's exactly what you have right there. We have names that are supposed to be evocative of equestrian pursuits and the romance of the equestrian lifestyle, because after all, the Arceau line has long-standing links dating back to the first in the 70s uh, to horse sport and not necessarily horse racing. Things like dressage and trials, jumping. And what you're looking at is actually a projection representation of a globe created by the artist Jérôme Coyot for the 2016 Hermès jumping competition in Paris. So this is actually a fake map. It's designed to be evocative of equestrianism and the romance of travel, but you will not use it to pinpoint any localities. It's not as though these cities are adjacent to their physical locations on a projected chart. So that's what's going on there. The module that accomplishes all this was designed by Chronode, which is a high-end movement and complication specialist that has a ongoing relationship with Hermes on the Arceau complication series. You can also see that the base movement is known as the 1837, but if you look carefully on the base plate, you'll see the Vauche star, and you'll see that this is based on the Vauche 3002. And that makes sense because Hermes owns a large share of Vauche manufacture, which is the movement arm of Parmigiani. All this is water resistant down to 30 meters. You can see that the rotor, which has a Hermes monogram, as does the bridge set, uh, 28 joules adjusted in five positions, which is the chronometer standard. All of this beaten away at four hertz, and you can see that five position adjusted balance is also free sprung for precision and durability, and it has an automatic winding 40 hour power reserve. There is a lot to love here. It is one of the most unusual travel time watches I've encountered. You could see that it is handsomely and competently decorated, right down to bevels that will undoubtedly started by mechanical means actually have a decent mirrored glint and rounded sheen to them, so they might actually be finished at least by hand with a milling tool, such as a drill bit with a buffer. That's actually a high degree of refinement for a fairly high volume movement, and it's impressive. You can also see there's snailing on the edge of the bridges where they join the base plate, black polishing on the screw heads, and engine turning uh, below the edge of the, of the bridges that the base plate itself is engine turned with perlage, and the solarization on on the ball bearing at center with ceramic bearing balls used. Very impressive watch and a lot of fun. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.